Hello, it's Perugia here. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a new Figma team and invite new members to your team. So as you can see, we are in the main homepage and on the very left column, there is this teams section where you can see the many teams that they added over the course of the years. And in order to create a new team, simply scroll at the very bottom of this column and you're going to find this uh, create new team call to action. So simply click on it uh, and uh, I'm going to name the team, which is going to be example team. And uh, here the name, you can change it afterwards. So simply add a name that fits uh, for the time being. Click on create team. And uh, as you can see, you're going to be redirected to this uh, next section where it's going to ask you to add your collaborators. So you can simply add their emails directly into these sections. If it's more than three collaborators, you can click on add another and you can see that it adds more input fields. And as stated right here, you can update the user permissions on the team page after setting it up. So simply add the emails and uh, click on continue. I'm simply going to click on skip for now. And at the very end, uh, depending on the type of uh, team plan that you want to add, uh, you can decide if going, uh, if remaining with the starter plan, which is 100% free. And uh, it allows you to have uh, up to three files, uh, three pages and one project. Uh, and the version history, which is essentially your backup files, which are being saved in the background as you work on your Figma files, are going to be for the last 30 days. Now, the professional and the organization plans, of course, have more features, but you're going to decide for yourself which one to go with. In my personal experience, also at times, the starter plan is enough for most teams, especially if they are startups or if they're just uh, at a smaller stage in their, their business. And you can simply click on uh, either one of these uh, and uh, you're going to get started and have your team ready. And you're going to find it uh, here in uh, the left column. So just as the one that you see right here, you can see that um, there are two tabs, uh, the one with the main uh, team and this is going to give you a bird's eye perspective of all of the projects which you're going to have in this case we just have one single project but if uh, you have uh, multiple projects you're going to see them here and uh, you can think of projects uh, just as uh, folders as groups uh, of multiple figma files uh, so as you can see, we have uh, inside of the team project, uh, uh, which I can access uh, even by simply double clicking here. I just have one single Figma file for the time being. Uh, but as I start adding more design files or big gen files, uh, I'm going to see more of them directly into this uh, preview. So I really hope this uh, video was helpful. If you want to learn more about Figma completely for free, we have uh, tons of resources uh, in the uh, website uh, and uh, you can find the link in the link in the description and uh, I'll see you in the very next video.